What's up, boys? So I just woke up, and it is getting super close to Zhao time. So, what we're gonna do is, they just dropped this video 24 minutes ago, as of me sitting here. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna check this out, see what this is all about. Nope, not, not, no! This looks better. That was actually pretty sick. <laughs> so, one thing about like everything that I see with Zhao is just he just looks so much fun to play. Like how fast he like dashes and like he just swiftly just like moves around like that stuff just seems so much fun to me i just i highly enjoy that that stuff is like super super cool i, I just really find that stuff really interesting oh you know, how ready am i for this guy uh, i probably have the slimes and i've probably got the um the gems ready but you know these things we have to farm from a new boss anyways so it's not like we can really do a whole lot with them new line and then i think i actually have enough of these flowers to get him s ascended at least to a four i'm pretty sure uh i mean short of farming this new material i should be good and then his talent stuff is like again this is where i think he he just really really like opens up in terms of like how fun he's going to be to play he lunges forward dealing a nemo damage to his opponents in his path can be used in mid-air and starts with two charges that just sounds so cool you could use both of them back to back but then you have a 10 second cooldown it greatly increases his jumping ability increases his attack aoe and attack damage converts attack damage into a nemo damage which cannot be overridden by any other elemental infusion he continuously loses hp Okay, and the higher it goes, the less HP he loses, which is nice. Although, after level 7, you don't get any HP benefits. It's just damage benefits from there. And he's going to use the lily pad ones. This is how I remember this. <laughs> I remember them based off their picture. I can't, I can't remember, like, all this freaking crap. Decreases climbing stamina consumption for your own party members by 20%. Okay. While under the effects of Bane of all evil, all damage dealt by Zhao increases by 5%. Damage increases another 5%. For every 3 seconds, the ability persists. Maximum damage bonus is 25%. It persists for 15 seconds? He's all, he's only got like a 3 second lull period, which is actually really cool. 70 energy costs though? For someone that's so coveted, like you, you think like... This is this is kind of what I don't understand about Mihoyo. Ganyu was like nobody was expecting Ganyu to be as good as she is. And all of a sudden like behind the scenes they're like, "Hey, you see this 20 second cooldown? Yeah, throw that away. It's now 15 seconds so she can have 100% uptime." What? No, that's weird. And then you you give Zhao like 15 second duration, 3 seconds, 
lull period, and you make his energy cost 70. What? Uh, uh, what is, uh, 60? Okay, it's not that big of a difference, but still. St <laughs> 70 energy costs is only 10 away from 80, which is the most that we've seen, I'm pretty sure. Why do they do that? Why do they do my boy like that? All right, anyways, back to 3% every, or far, fleh. All right, so he gets the initial five. So for three seconds, the very last three seconds of your ult, you actually hit that 25%. And uh, disillusion using that uh, E uh, increases damage of subsequent uses of that by 15%. Huh. And then his constellations, you know, which I don't, I'll never get. <laughs> Increases uh, this by one when in the party and not on the field his energy recharge is increased by 25% That's interesting because I, I was watching um, Jinx and tuners video about how he could be very selfish and in the long run he could be one of those greedy Carries which end up having a lot of issues because they don't generate energy for the team Which ends up meaning that while they're on the field doing the damage They're actually hurting the entire team's performance by literally just not generating energy for everyone So it ends up messing things up. So it almost seems like at C2 they are Counterbalancing that by giving him the ability to not be on the field while you're generating energy with your other characters He still gets a ton of energy, but it doesn't really counterbalance it as much because you're still going to be super selfish if he's on the field, not generating energy. Increases the level by three. Uh -huh. When his HP falls below 50, he gains a 100% defense bonus. Uh, that I, I feel like this this should have this should have been like a, a an attack buff or something. I feel like this would this like goes against why I would play Zhao. Zhao seems like one of those characters where you go in with the knowledge that this is huge risk, huge reward. By having this HP drain constantly during your ult, it's one of those things where I know going into it that I desperately need some kind of healing in the background to do a lot of damage, right? To, to sustain myself and do more damage, I need to heal myself. This kind of goes against that. They're saying, hey, instead of doing more damage with Xiao, when our HP falls below 50, let's just, let's try to survive longer. I feel like if they played more into the, the high risk, high reward thing, it would be so much more fitting, at least for me. I, I think it would be a lot more fitting. I, I don't really care that he has 100% defense bonus. C4 is is a throwaway for me. While under the effects of Bane of All Evil, hitting at least two opponents with his plunging attack will immediately grant him one charge of his E. And for the next one second, he may use it ignoring cooldown. Nice. Understood. And I want to hear that beautiful voice of his again. If you awake to a knife at your throat... If monsters dig their claws into you, if death comes knocking at your door, call out my name. Adeptus Xiao. I will be here when you call. Okay. Another thing is the the banner for Xiao. It, at least for me, this is a a weird banner because I don't necessarily care for extra copies of anyone out of the banner <laughs> um like diona i think she's c2 i'm pretty sure beto is c2 and i'm pretty sure senyan is c2 which is all fine and dandy if i got extra copies of them it would be fine but it's not like it's a big deal oddly enough um the kaching banner though i think this is a pretty solid deal excluding barbara um for me at least i've gotten like a thousand barbara Actually, uh, she's a C5, but I she's okay. I think for most players, though, extra copies of Bennett and Ning are probably amazing for most people um, if they don't already have them C6. So th if they literally swap them, I would I would have no problem, you know, going and telling like, hey, you need you need to summon on this banner because extra Bennett constellations or even a copy of Bennett if you are one of those that still don't have him extra copies of Ning or again if you don't have her like that stuff is just that stuff's amazing 
extra copies of Barbara is fine, I guess. If I mean, I'm gonna take a look at her soon as like a DPS, and I'm I'm actually gonna like build a DPS version of her. So it, it could be worth it to have her. But like honestly, for me, at from C5 to C6, it, it's not gonna change anything DPS wise. But as a healer, it, it kind of helps um, just because she has the revive in there, which is that's kind of cool. But Kaching is such a trap, man. If I'm already gonna get Kaching off of like the normal banner, I don't want to spend like my resources actually summoning for her. They have to understand that this is going to be like a huge influx of wishes on this single banner and then they have to understand that this is going to be the biggest trap unless they do something cool with like a weapon banner if they let this run for if they give this like double time like maybe that would be worth it that might be the first time a lot of people go in on a weapon banner if they just don't save i i foresee a lot of people just saving because this is a trap it is a trap, boys. Be careful. Be careful with what you do because there are characters that are upcoming that will be here for a limited time, but Kaching is in the standard banner forever. So yeah, um, Xiao's coming. <laughs> he he's coming quick too. Um, it's it's only like what a, a, from today. Wait, no wait. Is it tomorrow? Seventeen hours. Ah, uh, it is tomorrow, but it's the wrong tomorrow. Ah, oh, that sucks. Anyways. All right, um, so yeah, that's it. That's, uh, that's that's all I got for today. You guys have been asking for Zhao content, which I, I'm i one of those people that I'm... I want to make leak content. Like, I do want to make content about the leaks, but I got to... This is ironic because I made a freaking video with hentai in it, but I got to protect myself, man. Um, I, I got to... I don't know. I, I want to talk about, like, Hu Tao and stuff like that. Like, I want to theorize and... Uh, be all speculative because I think that stuff is fun, but I'm worried. I'm really worried. I don't know. Um, anyways, let me know down in the comments how many Primo Gems you got saved up for your boy Shout. I know a lot of people are going to be going for this dude. Uh, I will definitely do, I, I will I will I will spend like some some I'll spend like 20 bucks on this guy I guess if I get him I get him if I don't I don't um, but yeah, it'll be cool. I'm excited for him. I think he looks really fun to play, and that's the most important thing to me. I do think he's a little edgy. <laughs> Just, yep, piss it off. Pissing off all kinds of people here. Um, I do think he's a little edgy, but that's all good. It's part of his charm, right? But anyways, I'm going to get out of here before I piss off even more people. Uh, see ya. Major shout out to Cherry Blue, who is a YouTube member.